Nearly 10 years ago, San Luis Obispo County had a vector control program that monitored the mosquito population. And then with the recession and budget crunches, that program was eliminated. Now one slow county supervisor wants to bring it back. KSBY News reporter Brooke Martell spoke with officials today about reinstating that program. She joins us now live in San Luis Obispo. Brooke, why the renewed interest in the program now? Well, Dan, the county currently contracts outside agencies for mosquito surveillance, but Supervisor Debbie Arnold wants to bring back this program as a way to be better prepared in the event of a health emergency. Two options were on the table Tuesday afternoon as Slow County Public Health officials presented ways to bring back mosquito control programs. The first is a seasonal mosquito surveillance and control program that would cost more than $380,000. The second would be year round and cost nearly $575,000. Both would require about $186,000 worth of equipment. But County Environmental Health Specialist Lori Salo says the latter would be more effective. Which would help with uh, taking down a season and preparing for the next trapping season and the next surveillance time. Um, it allows for more outreach, more uh, social media contacts. Proposals to reinstate the program come at a time when five dead birds found this year in the county tested positive for West Nile virus. Now the last couple months we have had more than we have in the past. Um, but that is not a surprise that we have the virus in the county. We already knew we did. Supervisor Debbie Arnold says it's time to bring a mosquito program back to the county, but she doesn't want it to lead to a new tax. Uh, I feel like this is one of those basic, important services that ca the county historically provided and, and then we kind of let it go. However, the big question at Tuesday's meeting was how do we pay for this? County officials say funding would potentially come from the general fund, but not without cutting other programs. So the item is tabled until February. Now the board wants public health agency officials to come back at that time with more details on the budget for the proposed mosquito control program. Reporting live and local in San Luis Obispo, I'm Brooke Martell, KSBY News. All right, thank you for that, Brooke.